Jeez, Steph, walking a bit fast, aren't we? You're going to break out into sweat and look worse than you do now. Oh, that's right. Put your hood up. Why are you even awake? It's 6am on a Saturday. You know I'm awake. You kept me up all night. No, you kept yourself up all night. I'm in your head, silly. Just fuck off! I really don't understand how crazy you look. Telling the air to fuck off? You're portraying a crazy vibe perfectly. If we're going to coexist, we need to control these violent outbursts. It's your fault that we were up all night. You convinced me to watch Mr. Robot, and now you're talking about coexisting. How else was I meant to come up with the idea of coexisting? Ice queens need to stick together like peas and carrots. She's not always been like this. I do worry about her sometimes. Cut. Right, what are you doing? You're so deadpan and you're not even doing the right action. Seriously, what are you doing? This script is shit. The, there's no motivation for the characters. The plot is all over the place. It's fucking awful. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> What the fuck was that all about? I'm just fed up of these student filmmakers trying to make pretentious shit. It just turns out it's trash. I totally get that, but that was totally uncalled for. I mean, this is your first acting job since your mum. What did you just say? What did you just say? <sighs> Let's think about this. I mean... I mean, you're being a bit of a bitch right now. You were the only one who was there for me when my mum died. And now you're using that as an attack. I mean, you're really starting to be a dick right now. Maybe you should grow up and stop using your mother's death as an excuse to always be such a fucking bitch. Leave. I want you gone. You have no right to speak to me like that. No one has. I may not be the best at what I do, but at least I fucking try. And yes, my mum may have guided me into this career path, but I'm the one who's worked hard. I'm the one who's come this far, me by myself. You don't need to go all preachy on me.
This is finally goodbye. I'm finally rid of you, Ashley. I guess you're right. No, 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 fuck it. Fuck the boy, no. Well, I guess that's a cut. Well, thanks for letting me use your house. It's been a strenuous day, to say the least. It's okay. A few other filmmaker friends have used this house for films. I'm surprised you haven't seen it in any others before. <laughs> yeah, I've never thought of it. Where's the car? Huh? Ashley. He moved out not long after you told me that he'd quit the film. And I haven't heard from him since. I kind of miss him. He was there for me since the start. He was there for me when I found out. I don't know what's happened, but I'm done. Cut. Steph, that was great. That was brilliant. Thank you. Can we get a run over here, please? It's getting really cold. Thanks. Look at you, Mr. Big Time Director. Thanks for putting me in the film. It's all right. You were great. You know, you were pretty good too. Thank you. How have you met one of my producers? Hi, Steph. Ashley, it's been... About what happened. I'm sorry. It's all good, Ash. After all that, I messaged Jack about everything. He's actually a pretty understanding guy. Who do you think gave me the idea to hire you? I'll let you two catch up. So I've actually become friends and worked together ever since. You didn't need to move out, that was a bit drastic. Yeah, but what I said was pretty bad and you didn't need to be around that negativity. Do you remember when we went to shoot in this place and it rained? Yeah, yeah, I remember. It, it rained a lot. So, um, we have a lot to catch up on. I'm glad we're back together. Oh, hey, does Jack still break the fourth wall in his scripts? Oh, like you wouldn't believe. <laughs>